Welcome back to the Ginger Backman YouTube channel, and today we are going to be opening a booster box of the new Challenger. Stick around and see what we can get. Alright, I can't seem to find my knife, so hopefully I can get this open, but it's a pretty cool set. has some nice cards in it. I'm looking, hoping to pull a Ghost Rare and an Ultimate Rare. I think, I'm not sure if these are guaranteed years or not. I think it is what closer to the guaranteed ultimate years and uh cursed bamboo sword is a good value common and the fluffle bear used to be a dollar or two for a common if i can get this plastic off thank you and uh again welcome all the new viewers to the channel thanks for subscribing and uh still trying to get used to this new setup here i like it i think it makes it look nice, and it's out of the way, so I can move stuff around a little bit better without knocking into the camera. A 2014 set, looking for the Yazi Ultimate, or the Shadal, I don't exactly remember the name, but you'll see if I pull one. So let's get started, let's just jump right into it. I don't think it's a very super exciting set, but I'm excited to open it again. And this time it's a first edition booster box. And if you're new to the channel, I apologize if you see paint on my hands. I paint cards for a living. So it gets there. It doesn't seem to affect the cards because they're graded multiple tens. So I hope it doesn't bother you too much. I try to walk best to wash my hands to get it off. But yeah. Wonder Balloons, Shogi Lance, Performer Pal Trample Links. And we got a Herald of the Arclight first pack. I don't believe this is a guaranteed set. So very nice Herald of Arclight. I think this actually has some decent value as a super. About first pack magic. Very nice. This is one of the, I think, early pendulum sets. I always thought it was Zaxxel because I thought that's when uh, Dark Rebellion Dragon came out. But I believe it's an arc pendulum archetype. So should, I think three from the back was right, actually. So we got a super heavy samurai soul breaker armor. Cameras over here. Command Performance, Stellar Knight, something, Super Heavy Samurai, Perform a Pal, Wonder Balloons, Go Go Gorum, Cal Cab Malbranch, and Fenrir Sword. It is a little bit older set, so I'm not going to like completely fly through, but I don't want to spend 10 years on these packs to make a super long video, but we're hoping for a Ghost Rare, there's Ghost Rare possibilities. And ultimate rare possibilities. I've said that five times, but Procoin, Hexteller Knight, Mimic Clay, Block Spider, Satellar Knight, Beetle Geese, Laser Quip, Serenade. Oh, that's right. There's that uh, Melodis card. The uh, it's a super. It's like thirty dollars right now. Twenty, twenty, thirty bucks. The uh, Sulfa Cord, something. I forgot that was in this set. I need to see if I can get some more special editions of it because it comes as a uh, promo. Guiding Light, Strike of the Monarchs, Phantom Knights, Satellar Knight, Celestia, Super Heavy Samurai Scales used to have some decent values, a rare, and a UA Power Jersey. Oh, that, the name of that card is like on the tip of my tongue. I can't think of it. Hopefully we'll pull it, because it's a crazy value super. We got a Guiding Light, Fenrir Sword, Soul Breaker, Ruffian Railcar, Melodist Diva, Shogi Lance, Lindbloom, Quillfort Shell, and a Mystic Beast of the Forest. Next pack magic, let's go. Three from the back is, seem to be working. I keep for I, I forgot this had uh, the Melodist cards in it, which the new support really helps. Fluffle Bear, good common, used to be. A Burning Abyss and a Clifford Helix. Clifford. Clifford. Give it a little bit of light show. Hopefully the dogs in the background stop barking for that. But very nice. Two supers. And a, a possible good common. I don't think it's a dollar anymore. 
But when I pulled them, they were. And then the Cursed Bamboo Sword was like $7 for a common at the time. It was ridiculous. Opened it before I had to channel, sadly. But three from the back. Hoping for a super. Or, I mean, more than a super. Beast of the Forest. Soulbreaker Armor. Change. Melodist Diva. Watchdog. Super Heavy Samurai. Misjudge. Frightford Bear. And a Clifford Carrier. Another Clifford card. So we should keep this on the camera. Give it a little bit of light show because it's not a guaranteed hollow. And on to the next one. So just three supers so far. That's a little disappointing. But there's still a whole bunch of the pack left. Saving it all for the left side. Let's see some more. Good Value Commons, Toy Vendor, Fluffle Cat, Power Jersey, Soul Bang Cannon, Rail Car, Melodist Diva, Shogi Lance, Goalkeeper, and we got a Dark Rebellion XZ's Dragon Secret Rare. We got the box art, and we got our first Secret Rare of the box. This has a couple dollars worth of value. Very nice. Be cool to get the ulti of this as well. But we got three supers. And a secret so far on the left, right side. Let's see if we can get blessed by that Dark Rebellion Ghost Rare. If you guys have been enjoying the content I've been putting out on the channel, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. It really helps out. Ruffian Rail Car, Sacred Tree, and a Toy Vendor. And we've got some pretty big videos coming up. Like I said, I'm going to. I'm planning on spacing them out, but unless a new set comes out, I'll be getting that, obviously, but don't need to get anything new for a while. Yang Zing, Desk Bot, Soulfire Suit, Star Illusion, Clippert Launch, Kabutu, Cursed Bamboo Sword, probably a couple bucks, Exe's Change Tactics, and a Punch in the Box. I'm pretty sure at least it's a dollar or two now, but I'm going to push it out of the way. Next pack. Glad we got one. Three from the back. Brutality. O2. Samurai Soulfire Suit. Kabuto. Fluffle Bear. Go Go Goram. Celestia. Performer Pal Cheer Mall. And a Knight Draco Lich. Ultra Rare. Cool looking card. Not exactly sure what it does. I'll give it a read here in a second after a line show. That one looks good with this card. Interesting. So we got two, three supers, a secret, and an ultra on the right side so far. Last pack. Next pack. Got a mimic play. Elegy. Oracle the Herald. Block Spider. Fusion Substitute. Fluffle Rabbit. Laser Clip. Fluffle Dog. And a Hex Teller Knight. So very nice pulls from the first side. We're going to go to the next side after I get rearrange this. Not used to all this room. Get the box out of the way. Always bothers me when they're on there for some reason. First pack, left side. I was thinking to myself, what, when, you get, when you guys open booster boxes, what side do you start on? Left or right? Leave in the comments. I always seem to start with the right. Dodo -do Driver, Command Performance, Fluffle Leo, Laser Clip, Fusion Substitute, Super Heavy Samurai, Wonder Balloons, Oasis of Dragon Souls, and Punch in the Box. Next pack. Alright, so second pack on the left side always seems to be pretty lucky for me. So this is our lucky pack of the box usually. I don't know if it actually is. For the longest time, every time I did open a box, the left second pack on the left side seemed to have a hit. So that's the thing. We got Cannon, the Melodious Diva, Mimic Clay, Punch in the Box, Shogi Lance, Super Heavy Samurai, Fluffle Bear, Go 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 Ram, Burning Abyss, and Procone. However, you pronounce that. Of course, it lets me down. That's okay. Next pack. I don't know if these are mappable. I probably should have checked. I don't remember where the poles came from. Well, the first pack on the other side had a super in it, so. That dude again that I can't pronounce. Cannon, Mimic Clay, Strike of the Monarchs, 
Clippert Lunch, Star Illusion, Fluffle Rabbit, Burning Abyss, and a Lancer for Ninjas. Lanceforinchus. That is a long word that my small town self cannot pronounce, but but it is a super rare, so it gets a little bit of a light show. Light was acting up. First super on that side. So it looks like we'll get three, th three, one, and one. Gonna be make me look like a big dummy when there's not even an ulti in the box, but there's a lot of packs left, so I'm not too worried yet. The Melodist Diva, Yang Zing Brutality, Scrounging Goblin, Serenade, Magical Star, Clippert Launch, Wonder Balloons, Performa Pal Trampolinks, and an Oracle of the Herald. Next pack. Elegy, Yang Zing Brutality, Goblin, Lin Bloom, Phantom Knights, Soul Bang Cannon, Shogi Lance, Unmasked Dragon, and an Oracle the Herald again. It's an interesting rare. Re looks, I don't know if it's supposed to be a retrained of Masked Dragon, or if it's just like a shout out. Beast of the Forest. Sorry I keep going back and forth on the screen. Like I said, new setup. And this is the first real video I'm filming with it. Clifford Tower and a Shadal Hound. Wow, where we are. All the hollows are ran to the bottom of the left side. Making me look like a big dummy with my second pack of magic. Come on, get out of there. Fluffle Cat, Elegy, Samurai Soul Burner, Wonder Balloons, Go Go Gel Ram, Block Spider, Fusion Substitute, Super Heavy Samurai Scales, and a UA Powered Jersey. Scales, like I said before, usually used to have some value as a rare. I don't know if Super Heavy is been getting played much anymore. No, for a while it was. Come on, let's see an ulti. Got a Hex Teller Knight, Punch in the Box, U Wade Power Jersey, Miss Judge, Lynn Bloom, Phantom Knights, Soul Bang Cannon, Fluffle Dog, and a Cannon. Wow, they all ran to the back of this box unless unless it's not a two secret and two ulti box. Which I thought this was new enough that it should be. It's not guaranteed though, so we got another cannon. Hex Teller Knight, Punch in the Box to Teller Knight. Celestia, Soul Heavy, Super Heavy Samurai, Performer Power Revival, Fluffle Owl, and a Guiding Light. Wow! This left side is really letting us down. And I am struggling to pronounce these names. Alright. Next pack. Got three packs left. Let's see what we get. Hexteller Knight, Despot 002, Guiding Light, Ruffian Rail Car, Serenade. Watchdog, Super Heavy Samurai, Draw Muscle, and a Fire Lake of the Burning Abyss. Stop taking the pole off camera, Jordan. Keep it on the screen for the people. Give it a little bit of a light show. This isn't a very exciting one. There we go. So we got five supers. So hopefully these next two packs have some poles in them or we got a bad box. Hopefully there's an ulti and or secret in one of these. And or ghost. See, ulti, ghost, and a secret in two packs. We got a Fenrir Sword, Hexstellar Knight, Deskbot 002, Watchdog, Fluffle Bear, Strike of the Monarchs, Phantom Knights, Clifford Shell, and a Clifford Scout. So we're about to see if we get a guaranteed ult, or not guaranteed, if we get an ulti in this box. That one looks, that's a good one. Sometimes that, sometimes that thing doesn't have very good lights. All right, last pack magic for that ulti. I thought they would be guaranteed from the year of this set. It seems like some of them are, oops, seems like some of them are guaranteed. Every time I opened a Shadow Spectre box, I got one. That might've just been me being lucky. Command Performance, Fluffle Leo, 
Fenrir Sword, Celestia, Celestia, Stellar Knight, Perform Battle, Block Spider, Midfielder, and a Dodo Driver. Wow, that's super disappointing. I don't know if this is just a bad box, or if this is the normal pull rate of this box. That's not great. But, we, I mean, we got the box art card, but we didn't get an ulti, which is very disappointing. So we got our Secret Rare, Disease Dragon, Knight Draco Lich, Clifford Scout, Burning Lake, that one, Cliff Fort Carrier, Helix, and Arc Light. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to come back next week for more pack opening content like this.